What's up everyone? It's me Nia here and today I have video a new video called Unnamed Cubes. This is a video about cubes that I don't even know the name of the brand or yeah the no the name of the brand is not I don't really know. Like for a few reasons like this was a gift for a like when I buy a candy pack, a big one, like some, like they even give me a keychain cube, which is this thing right here. Or I just bought it because I really into, because I like cubing and I just want to buy new cubes, a new cube like this one, or I want to join in like this one. Okay, now let's start. From the left to the right, we have the toning quality, overall toning quality, counting every aspect of the cube, quality, controlling, blah, blah, blah. First, we will start with this cube here. This is my first Rubik, Rubik's Cube. What started me into the world, the unbelievably large and awesome world of cubing. This is what started it all. This thing is really old, and the colors have worn up really, really badly. I got this, like, say, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. I got it four years ago when my mother wants to me to start in to cubing instead of video gaming because, well, cubing is not doesn't hurt your eyes or anything, and apparently it's more fun. I have to say. So the size is say the size is 55 millimeters. My hands is still dang small, so I so I don't want to get a bigger cubes than 55 millimeters. 54.6 is really smart to me now. So yeah, so turning now to the turning quality. I almost forgot the price. This was thirty-seven thousand dong, or say to one dollars and seventy-four cents. If I was right, yeah, I was right. <laughs> so here the shades. Oh no, I scrambled it by accident. Okay, I will talk about it in part of it why I'm solving it. So the shade is good enough. To me, I've been playing with the cube quite a long time, so the shades actually became my standard shade here with white opposite, opposite yellow. Okay, guys, just wait me until I solve the cube. It won't be long. It won't be. Even though I cannot speed this cube, I won't take too much time solving it. The LLs, the one hate. Oh my heart. It's been such a long time since the last time I touched this skill that not playing with it makes me hurt. It hurts. Because like the other cubes like Fenshi or the other which I use, usually play with, they are not this sharp. Okay, stickers. The shade. This shade have be, have become my standard shade for everything. So that's why I don't like cubes which have different shades, like this one here, which yeah, on this one here is kind of counterclockwise then will be yellow blue red this one is yellow counterclockwise yellow red blue see that's why that's another reason for me don't like this one and the turning quality is good enough for such a cheap puzzle really 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 really, really cheap puzzle the turning is good enough. It has some quarter cutting, which is something you would not expect of. Oh, such an 
a cheap cube. Oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> but there's no, there's tiny tolerance for reverse. And I have to say that it's been a long time since I popped this one the last time. Uh, the last time I did this was months ago when I was really want to pop this off. I pop. <laughs> the traditional way. Like So we will look at the pieces. Here, this is the center. Just a normal center. Nothing too fancy or fancy around here. So I'll just put these back together. Okay, what happened? What's happening? I don't see anything. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that's it for the cube. My first, my first Tutti Polo ever. Yeah, my first one I bought actually. Before this, I had like some of my mother's students. My mother is a is a high school teacher, and some of her students play Rubik's cube at recess. So. So some for play in during school time, and and my mom took take it because that's a fine, a penalty for them. So 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 like they she took it away for a week, and she brought back the even worse than this. They're not. They just eight thousand dong, which is say forty cents. Ridiculously cheap and ridiculously horrible. So, so my first Rubik cube. Next, on the second of the turning quality is my two by two. I bought this on my trip to Europe. They do sell this in Vietnam, but. Yeah, what, what, why water Vietnam? I did not know of where of the cheap ruby cube store in Vietnam at all back then, which is just a few months ago. And yeah, I bought it. The turning is good now. It feels very loosey, terribly loosey. I mean, you overshoot, overshoot it really quickly. Well, I, sh I not see. I'm not using the old shoes like now. Okay, well, I'll solve this first so you can see the how overshooty is it. I have to say it's really overshooty, and I go about everything about it right. But after I solve this thing here. This is not stiff at all, but the problem is, actually, you see it right now, okay. First, <coughs> go with the price. This three euros, so compares to, is 4.5 dollars, ridiculously cheap again. <laughs> the stickers, now the size first, I almost forgot. I'm so forgetful. Okay, so it's just five centimeters. No, scratch that. It is five centimeters. So stickers is the shades is not the normal shade. They're just no no shades with kind of clockwise yellow, blue, white, red, but the orange which was supposed to be. Here is pink. Like on this disc, we have the same shades everywhere. Yeah, this was orange. So I that's another reason. So that's one reason for me to hate this cube. Yeah, but 
the quality of the stickers is really good. I've been playing with, with this since say five months now. I bought this in July and now it's December. So yeah, I've been playing this five months. I think it's broken in pretty well. The, the overall stickers quality is good enough. And here, let's see. Camera does the focus job. Focus, focus, yeah. See, there's a tiny rip there. That's the only place where it rips. And I can see. I cannot see anything else on the cube. Ah, this piece, this part here is also rip. That's it. For the rip, the quality is the cube overshoots. If you're holding two hands, it won't, but if you're one hand, look at that. If two hands, that won't happen. Why? I mean, yeah. This is how, how I usually do my cues, and this locks up like, and it has absolutely no quarter cut. Like here, this much, this tiny much. No cutting, dang it. This much, it does cut. And it's already ha having some force there. This cut, already having. I mean, normal turning means, means really hard. So you need to be incredibly accurate to do this. And the corner cut is already worse. And reverse is well unbelievably worse. This one have absolutely no tolerance. Like this tiny. Here yeah, that works. That more works. Wow. The cube is... Ah, yeah. I was saying... I was about to say that. Wow, the cube is reverse corner cutting. A lot better than the other days. Or minutes. Or hours. Yeah. So yeah, it costs that much. For some reason, it costs even better than the reverse. It's better than the normal. Next to, to this giant cube here. I'm pretty sure that this is even bigger than a standard. This is, oh, ouch. 6.5 point, 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 point millimeters. So big. And what hurt me back there? Oh. And this. The sticker shades are. No, I don't have. I don't want to say stickers. I say tiles. Tiles shades. They are good enough. Contrast good enough. But they are terrible. They look just terrible because the tiles are misplaced terribly. And also the quality. The cast fall off. Some of the cast fall off. <laughs> A lot of tiles for a tree there. Like I just drop it, this on the floor, and then poop, poop, poop. caps, caps, and tiles gone. And yeah, terrible. Okay, so turning this is just however not smooth. <laughs> ish, ish. Ah. Oh. Ah. So reverse, no, the new corner cut, the dirt corner cut, at least, okay, but not much. So the reverse, I just try it on this side because there's no cap over here, it won't be accurate. No, again, like all other cubes. Oh. So that's it for the cube, terrible. And I got this because I this looks really nice when it was on the stuff like the cast made it really really stay now. They look pretty nice, but they are no longer nice. Well, so to define the cube, this is so terrible because I have to like to show off my terrible cubes that I hate. Well, except this one because. And maybe this one, let's have these two because they are, first this one, very valuable, valuable and 
this one started my journey into the cubing world which is full of algorithms and long crazy things to remember and five seconds off wow okay so the final thing here is what makes me ouch most <laughs> the key chain which the number key chain it's been a long time since i've been there to scramble this up it's just got so so terrible i mean you can compare it to an original rubik's cube which is just this terrible but if the mechanism is of the rubik's cube is terrible then this Replicates, re replicates that mechanism terribly. The cube inside is full of flashes, and since it's the smallest of flashes, even though they're pretty tiny and normally won't cause a big problem, like on this cube, which does have the same size of flashes, uh, at least I think, but this is a lot more worse. So the stickers, yeah. <laughs> it's locking up, I can't turn it anymore. No, it's locked up and I don't want to pop it, so I will turn it again. Bro. Stickers is at least good enough. And these are not stickers. Again, these are spray paint on the cube. The cube is just three centimeters long. It's quite small compared to my two by two. And even smaller compared to my 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 my, my she shuffle for how small is that? Four. Actually, it looks pretty big from here. <laughs> Real big, huh? <laughs> Lol. So the turning quality, as you can see, is already terrible. The chase are just good enough. Again, this is reversed to my normal shades like that. This cube over here. Instead, my normal shades is say here. Counterclockwise, yellow, blue, red. This is counterclockwise, yellow, red, blue. See? So the quality is just good enough. The numbers look pretty nice but the rotation you can see and the current count is even worse than my worst cube it does not cut at all at all its current count is comparable to the 2 by 2 cubes which also doesn't cut nothing at all which is pretty much comparable to each other and also because there are a lot of flashes and if, in case you don't know, bigger flashes, even though the same size flash makes more problem on makes more problem on a small cube than on a big one. They won't make a big problem because the flash are so small compared to the cube and the friction, so it doesn't come cause much friction, cause too much problem. But this one. Even though the flash might be even smaller, it caused a hell bigger problem. So, yeah, well, that's it for my cubes. So, I really disappointed and angry <laughs> because I have to hurt my hands to show you guys. So, you guys, all my unnamed cubes. And my unnamed cubes, I like most the one big this one two one first this because these two ones this one start a journey my journey into QB and this one is pretty valuable to me it's okay goodbye you guys and see you again in the future maybe not